Hello and welcome back to Here We Tow. Today I'm at Grantham Caravans and I'm going to be filming a review of this. It's the Knaus Sport 500 UF from the German manufacturer Knaus. For those of you who don't know, it is a large manufacturer that do sell plenty of caravans and motorhomes in the UK. I'm going to show you the features of the caravan today and also explain a little bit more about that door being on the off side or the right hand side. What I will say is this caravan based at just over £25,500 is certainly a contender if you're looking at a four berth with a fixed bed at around that price bracket. It's really well equipped and it's certainly one I'd be considering. The layout inside is fantastic but we'll see more when we go in. So what do we need to know about it? Well, let's start first of all with the length. It's seven meters and 31 centimeters long. It's a single axle, it has alloy wheels. Width wise, it's 2.3 meters wide or seven feet, seven inches. So not an eight foot van. Weight wise, 1500 kilograms. So this is going to be accessible to a lot of people and their tow cars, but it comes with an amazing payload of 230 kilos. So that's knocking a lot of the UK manufacturers out of the ballpark. So excellent pay payload, 230 kilos. It is on an Alco chassis. It has got the Alco hitch, doesn't have ATC as standard. That's not something that I'd be concerned about at all. The European caravans tow extremely well because of this long A-frame, which you may be able to notice here. So stability and towing of a European van is absolutely not a problem. The front, what are we going to get? We'll start off with the window. We've got one large one-piece window here. Now we do get blinds and fly screens inside, and this is going to look into the lounge area, which we'll see when we go in. We've got grab handles and we've got a big front locker. This is going to take two 11 kilogram gas bottles. Again, European caravans like the Adrias are very much based on uh, being off grid, using gas. So gas canisters, two 11 kilos. I'm going to venture off down this near side first of all. So as I come down the near side, we've got the white sides, we've got the silver decals, the sport badge, and this is the water inlet point. Now it's worth noting that we do have an onboard water tank as well, a 45 litre fresh water tank. So as well as your aqua roll, you've got that onboard water as well, which is also going to enable you to go off grid if you want. You can on these uh, travel with water. Whether I advise that or not, it's not for me to say, but in Europe, that's a common thing to do. People will fill them with water and travel. You just have to be cautious of your stability. But onboard fresh water, so if you combine that with your Aquarol, you could be having up to, well, if you had a, a waste, uh, a water hog, you could be having over 90 litres of fresh water. Come down, we've got a window that's looking into our lounge. And here we've got the vent for if you're running the Truma air-blown heating system on gas. Come a little bit further down, we've got the vents here for the Dometic fridge freezer. Again, we'll see that when we go in. We've got the vent for the Truma heating and hot water, a window that's overlooking the bed, which we'll see. And then we've got a good sized storage locker under the bed as well. I'll make my way further around the back. So it's a little bit tight here, but hopefully you'll get an idea. And unfortunately, it is a little bit mucky, but you've got to bear in mind, we've just had the hottest weather ever uh, and it's been very dusty. So we'll just have to take on board the weather conditions we've been having. But we've got a big white back end. We've got the Knaus name up here. I'll just let that go past. There we go. Got the Knaus name. We've got the Knaus logo, Sport. And then we've got these modern tail lights as well. So nice and fresh at the back. Grab handles for manoeuvring if you don't have a motor mover, but the one piece back end here. Right, what we'll do is we'll now venture around and have a look at that offside. So I'll see you around there. So around on the offside or the right hand side of the caravan, we'll start at the back. We've got the window into the bathroom. We've got our toilet cassette box. There's no separate flush that feeds off the water system. As we come down, we've then got an aerial connection point for television. We've got our electric hookup as well. 
We do get an awning channel running around the van, so if you're wanting to use an awning, you can do that. You'll see we've got a one-piece door here. Yes, it's on the offside. This is a, a German caravan, and for the UK market, this is how it's going to come. What I always say is do not be put off by this. On many sites, when you arrive, they will let you go nose in. If you explain you've got a German caravan, they will let you go nose in, so you're not having to overlook your neighbours on the next door pitch. And quite often, nose in, you do get a bit of a better view. If you like to be nosy, OK, you're probably going to lose that. But do not be put off by this. It certainly does not put me off at all. The finishing off at the front, we've got the uh, awning light above the door, good size on that and then a window looking into the lounge as well. So that's the outside. Let's get inside because this is really nice in here. So come on, let's dive inside. So we're inside the 500 UF and what are we going to get? Now this is where I start to be impressed to be honest. Now this is 25,000 pounds or 25 and a half to be exact. The finish on this is beautiful. We've got the wraparound U-shaped lounge. This is a really good size, whether it be for two people or four people. The space to sit back, you can get your legs up. You don't have to have the table all the time. This is just being put out to give you an idea. So there's loads of room around the table for eating at, and then you can fold it away if you just want the lounge area. It's really bright in here as well. We've got a really good size sunroof. It's got blinds as to keep uh, the sun out on a hot day, so I do like that. We've then got the front window with fly screen blind and these nets to keep it cool and just soften it a little bit. The fabric is a grey fabric and it's, it feels uh, like it's going to take quite a bit of wear does this as well. So the lounge area, yeah, it's really nice space. There's these little lights as well that you can probably see. There's the USB charging point, points, which is important. There's also ample plug sockets. We've got two plug sockets. And on the other side, there's also another light with a USB for whoever sat over there. So this is a very relaxing area. I'll show you in a minute when I move around, but there's also a TV bracket on the wall over there. So when you sat here, you're going to be able to sit back and watch the television. So a really relaxing space. This is a massive, massive plus for me is this area. What I'll do now is I'll just get up and show you some of the cupboard space. So I'll just move out from here. So as I say, you don't have to have the table there all the time. We've got two cupboards, one on each side, a good amount of storage space. It's got good height and good depth. So that's very practical. Above me, there's another huge hecky light and that does pop open, which on a hot day like today, I would want that. And there is the blind as well and the fly screen, so well equipped. We then move down. I'll take the near side of the caravan first and we'll move that way. So first of all, we're coming to the kitchen area. We've got a really nice grey splashback and that extends the whole length of the kitchen. Now, the Europeans aren't always massively bothered about the kitchen space because they do a lot of outdoor cooking. But this caravan is absolutely delivering. This is actually putting a lot of the UK manufacturers to shame, to be totally honest, with the amount of kitchen space we're getting. And that's why I'm quite taken with this fan. Um, we've got a good window there. We've got a nice round sink, good depth to it, swivel tap. And that feels quite, quite a, a good solid tap as well. Now we come along, we've got our Dometic three gas burner ring. So you can see the three burners there. Again, Europeans are not big on electric, so we do get the gas, which I've never had a problem with myself on the Adria. And then there is literally all this worktop space. Just under here, we've got two plug sockets and a light switch. So we're going to be able to get coffee machines and kettles and all the rest of it on there. Excellent. I'll come back up here and start working my way along. Now in here, we've got a cutlery tray. I'll just move some of these bits out. Really good size cutlery tray, absolutely brilliant. And it's a nice soft closed drawer as well. Then we've got an oven, it's an LG oven. Um, I'm not entirely sure, there we go. Oh no, it's a microwave, I do apologize. It's the microwave, so that's there at that height. I don't know if it's got any other features or whether it does just microwave. Um, I'd have to have a closer look at that, but it does come with a 10 year warranty as well. 
and then we come up and we've got a good size cupboard for storage and then we've got the Dometic under counter 98 litre fridge freezer so plenty of space in there this is a good size freezer compartment as well so that's there and up above more cupboard space and you get this blue trim as well which is in line obviously with the uh, Knaus logo and what have you these cupboards are massive uh, you can just see the size of them there so loads of room to put all your kitchen bits and pieces into these cupboards so plenty of space and with your 230 kilo payload shouldn't be much of a problem right what I'll do now is I'll just come round to this side and we'll start on the off side of the van so as we step in through that one piece door we've got a fly screen we've got the control panel for the electric and the water we've got the control panel for the Truma heating and then on this side we've got somewhere to hang your coat maybe if that's what you wanted to do got a nice mirror the TV bracket that I was telling you about so when you sat over there we've got the television we've got the aerial ready to connect a plug socket a little shelf and some storage there so that's quite nice I do like that as I come in and then I will now make my way down towards the rear of the caravan so first of all we've got this huge wardrobe space this is fantastic this is really good so not only are we getting a huge kitchen a huge lounge and a massive massive wardrobe which has got shelving it's got the wardrobe and rail we've got um, that's fixed we've got another um, shelf down there so not only are we getting all that um, we're also getting a really good sized bed as well so we're not we're not really compromising on anything as yet the bed it's a fixed bed some people call this a French bed um, people use different terminology basically it does cut off here so you do have to think if you're a taller person uh, on this side you you will lose some of your leg space but length this bed 205 centimeters long so it's over two meters long and 138 centimeters wide so it's a good size double bed we've got this nice foam mattress so a good bed and above you may just be able to see down here we've got the lights that we saw in the lounge with the usbs and we've got all these overhead lockers and another skylight i'll just open one of the lockers so you can get an idea i'm not going to clamber on the bed and open them all uh, it's a bit warm today for that but yeah so you get an idea there so plenty of storage again so that's the bedroom space I like it we do have a privacy screen here as well so if there are four people because the lounge converts into a huge double bed we do have a privacy screen to pull across and it just affixes on that side there so you do have that privacy now this is a little bit different and some of the some of you might think oh I'm not sure about that we have here obviously the bathroom sink in the bedroom we've got a plug socket as well so if you wanted to use uh, hair products or uh, a razor or something we've got the swivel tap good size sink you'll certainly um, be able to use that for just about anything you want good size mirror some hooks for towels good lighting above some lovely little cupboards we've got cupboard space here and then we've got cupboard space down here as well so loads of space for the toiletries so I do like how they've used this space uh, it's not been wasted at all so if you can get your head around your sink being there you won't have a problem last but not least I'll just open this door now this is probably the only compromise and to me it's not a huge compromise but it could be for some people with not having the sink there it gives us more room in here I'll just step in so what we're going to find in here we've got a light here we've got the shower head attached here we've got the curtain shower curtain and a rail all the way around so this is your shower space it is a little bit small and that's why I say this is your compromise if you're a bigger person you may find this a little bit small for showering again Europeans aren't massive on showering in their vans so this is sort of a, their compromise we've got a frosted window though 
we've got fly screen and blind and we've got a little vent here for a ventilation if you are showering and there's a towel rail here. There is a toilet, it's the Dometic toilet, it does swivel so you can choose which direction you want to sit on uh, with it. There is a um, part of the Truma air blown system in here, a vent, so it's going to be warm. There is a toilet roll holder just here on this wall, so I like that. And a couple of little shelves. So it is usable, it is small. If you're wanting to shower in your van, that's the only compromise really. So I'll dive out because it's getting a little bit warm back here. So I'll dive out and head further north. <clears throat> so there we go. Right, so that is the Knaus Sport 500 UF. They do do the 500 in different layouts. You can have a look at either the Knaus UK website or Grantham Caravans website. I'll put a link in the description below so you can have a look at the different layouts. For £25,500, bear in mind the current price of caravans right now, this to me would be very high on my list and it really would. It's got a very good build quality. It is well equipped. The only thing you're not getting is that oven if that's something you're bothered about. But the lounge is a really nice area to use. That's a good sized bed. And other than that, I've got everything that I'm going to want. So would it be on my list? Yes, it would. This is certainly something to look at if you're considering a layout like this. If you're wondering about insurance for a van like this, I'll also put a link to the Caravan Guard website down below so you can always get a quote as well if you want. We've used Caravan Guard for our caravan and our motorhomes. It's often worth just finding out the extra costs that are going to be involved with caravan ownership. I think I've covered it all. So if you've got any questions though, or any comments, please drop them below. Let me know what you think about the door being on the right hand side. For you, that could be just an absolute no altogether. Some of you may have a caravan that's got the door on the European side and might think it's the best thing you've ever had. So please do let me know, because I do like to know what you think, um, as does, does other, you know, do other people. That sort of feedback's always useful. So I'd just like to say thank you to Grantham Caravans who've let me come and film a review of this today. I've enjoyed it. I've really enjoyed it, to be honest. I'm smiling. Don't do that often, do I, Jules? But yeah, I'm smiling. So, uh, yeah, so as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.